Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how to install Windows 11 on a computer that doesn't meet the official hardware specification required by Microsoft. So it doesn't have TPM module, it doesn't have secure boot enabled, and it doesn't have 4 GB of RAM memory. So let's do it! So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go to Rufus site, rufus.ie, as you can see, and we will download Rufus. Rufus is a software for creating bootable USB drives. So we are here, let's scroll down and let's download the second position, which is portable version of Rufus. Left click, we will download it to the desktop, save. All right, we have our Rufus. Let's leave it for now, we will get back to it later. So the next thing we need to get is actually the Windows 11 system itself. So we head to Microsoft site. The link is in the description below. And let's scroll down to download Windows 11 disk image section. Let's press here. Select download. Pick Windows 11 multi edition. Press download now. We will wait a bit. Now select the product language. Choose one. I will pick English International. Press confirm and now press the 64-bit download. Save. Now wait till the download will finish. It can take a while. So next thing we will do is we will get back to our Rufus, but first you have to have at least 16 gigabytes pen drive and put it into one of your USB ports. Now let's start up Rufus. Right click with mouse, run as administrator. Yes. And here uh, we will choose our proper pen drive. Now pay attention, this is a very important step. Be sure to choose the right USB device because everything on that device will be erased. Uh, boot selection. We will select disk or ISO image. And select. We have our download here. The image is now being scanned. We will have to wait a bit. Right, it's ready. Image option, standard Windows installation, yeah, let's leave it as it is. I choose GPT partition scheme and UEFI target system, but here you have to know if the motherboard of your computer does support UEFI and if it's enabled. You can check it by entering the BIOS options when starting your computer. If you have UEFI option, then you also have to use GPT partition scheme, but if you have CSM, also called legacy boot option, then you have to use MBR partition table instead of GPT. All right, and we can now press start. And here, this is important, remove requirement for 4 gigabytes of RAM, yes. Secure boot and TPM 2.0, yes, let's leave it checked. Remove requirement for an online Microsoft account, yes, uh, leave it uh, checked too. Let's press disable data collection uh, to skip privacy questions. Disable BitLocker automatic device encryption. What this will do, it will prevent our disk drive on which we will install our Windows 11 system and other drives, if we have them too, from being encrypted. So it's an important one because Windows 11 installation for some strange reason even does not ask users if they want BitLocker being enabled or not. And if the installation would fail, then you are left with encrypted image and it's hard to decrypt it. And it's not a major problem if you have only system disk because you can just format it and try installing operating system on it again. But the thing is that other disks with your data are encrypted too. So we would rather avoid encrypting them during installation and instead do it later when system will be ready to use. When you pick an offline account, then uh, the key to uh, unencrypt the drive will be in TPM module, but if you will uh, pick the online account, if you would, then it will be stored on Microsoft server. So let's disable it. Press OK. Warning, all data on the device will be destroyed. Uh, yes, uh, I acknowledge this. Let's press OK. And let's wait until it will finish. As you can see, we have our uh, USB drive ready, so we can press now close. And uh, you can see that I have additional folder and file on my desktop. I will put them 
in a new folder. I will call it Rufus USB. All right, guys, I will end the video here. If you find this video useful, then give it thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will continue the process of installation in separate video because some of you probably came here only to see how to install the system on unsupported devices. So some of you already know how to do the second part, which is similar to usual installation process. The link to the next part will appear here when I will finish editing it. Have a good one and bye.